Welcome back to the Cronkite Sports Report. I'm Victoria Samuels. Herm Edwards, three games into his fifth season here, is now relinquishing his duties as head coach. Except for the timing of it. Herm's departure is really no surprise. He's been on the hot seat ever since the NCAA started an investigation into recruiting violations. Edwards lost five assistant coaches in 2022 and several key players. Looking back, Herm led ASU to a 26 and 20 record during his tenure, even made three bowl games in those four full seasons. But the expectations the program had for the former NFL head coach were just not met. Athletic director Ray Anderson had a very close relationship with Edwards. He served as his agent when Herm was in the NFL. And that's why having to part ways yesterday was a difficult move for the Sun Devil AD. Our responsibility is to try to infuse new energy, new urgency into the program. Toughest day of my professional career, no question about it, to have to separate from Herm Edwards, but we've known each other a long time and we've always been very honest. We did not get it done here at the level that any of us aspired to. And when it's time for change, you make the change. And so we feel like for this current team, for our future, for our staff, for our university, this is the appropriate change at the appropriate time. Running backs coach Sean Aguano will take over as interim head coach for the remainder of the season. All other coaches are expected to stay in their same roles. Aguano will take over as ASU opens Pac-12 play and has to run the gauntlet of facing number 13 Utah and 7th ranked USC along with Washington. I like the challenge of competing with the three top 20 teams right off the bat. If I came in and we challenged the team that was uh, mediocre and we got a win, so what? Uh, now let's go and win the, these next three games. And that's our mindset and we'll attack it uh, full goal. ASU will conduct a national search for a new head coach, one that Ray Anderson describes as needing to have a lot of energy and someone more in tune with the modern football landscape. That includes NIL deals, the transfer portal and conference realignment. As we mentioned, Sean Aguano will step in as interim head coach, but many fans may be asking, who is Sean Aguano? He's been with ASU since January of 2019 when Herm hired him as the running backs coach. Prior to ASU, Aguano led Chandler High School to four 6A state titles in five years. In eight years with the Wolves, he posted an 88 and 19 record and manned one of the most dominant high school football teams in the state. He coached two well-known players at Chandler, Chase Lucas and Nikhil Harry, who also went on to having great careers at ASU. And he wants to recruit more in-state talent. You've got an Arizona coach who loves Arizona in this spot. Now let's come and help an Arizona guy stay here. What the heck? So uh, I am going to ask for that. There's going to be some subtle changes so that I can engage with the, the fan base a little bit and get their support and put our kids out there as well. The Diamondbacks are on the road starting tonight as they take on the Dodgers in L.A. with only 16 games left in the season. They will have only one more homestand this weekend. The month of September has been a good time for manager Tori Lovello to evaluate the younger players and make sure they're in a supportive environment. But I want all players to be comfortable. I want them to come in here and feel like um, this is an environment that they're ready for. This is a level that they're ready to compete at. And the least of their worries should be what, um, you know, in the past some players have had to worry about, whether it's this organization or when I played. The Arizona Cardinals pulled out a surprise 29-23 overtime win last night against the Las Vegas Raiders, and social media took note. Following the improbable comeback victory, the Cardinals tweeted out a video of quarterback Kyler Murray's two-point conversion, saying Murray magic. The two-point conversion was the star play of the night. Murray ran for 85 yards to send the game into overtime. Defensive end J.J. Watt posted a gif, saying never a doubt, and the NFL seemed just as shocked as the rest, tweeting the Cardinals did it. Former Cardinal Zach Ertz said, unreal, what a team win. That's it for today's Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Atria.